Okay, so we're doing number two from this problem here. We're trying to find the p-value given this information. First thing we want to do is to look at the claim and figure out whether that indicates that we're dealing with a right-tailed test, a left-tailed test, or a two-tailed test. Well, the claim here is HA because it has the symbol greater than. And the other thing that tells us is that if HA has a symbol greater than, it means that we're dealing with a right-tailed test. And why that's important is because if we're dealing with a right-tailed test, then in order to find the p-value, we must find the area to the right of the test statistic. Okay, so let's draw a bell curve. Label the mean at zero, right? And let's put our test at where it belongs based on its size. So it's 1.89. 1.89 belongs on the right-hand side of the curve. Now, because it's a right-tailed test, we find the area to the right of the test statistic. Note, we are not finding the area to the right of the test statistic because the test statistic is on the right side. That is not what we're doing, right? It doesn't matter if the test stat is on the right or the left-hand side. If it's a right-tailed test, we always find the area to the right of the test statistic. So even if we had a test stat on this side, we still find the area to the right of it because it's a right-tailed test. All right, good. Now all the rest we have to do is to go to our Z table, look up 1.89, and then from there figure out the area in the tail. So let's go to our Z table and look up 1.89. So now we're looking up 1.89 on our Z table. Let's scroll down till we get to 1.8. There's the 1.8 row, and 1.89 is all the way at the end. And we get the answer 0 0.4706. 0 0.4706. Okay, so we found our area from here to here to be 0 0.4706. All right, that's not the area we're looking for. We need to find the tail area. So we do 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4706. Okay, so a little old school borrowing here. We get 10 take away six is four, nine take away zero is nine, nine take away seven is two, four take away four is zero. So we get the answer 0 0.0294. That means our p-value is equal to 0 0.0294 or close to 3%.